Welcome to the e-learning for Sage UBS, on the topic of the tax invoice. The tax invoice, as the key document in GST, and requires proper handling, as well as proper information. Follow us as we introduce the requirements for a tax invoice in the context of Malaysian GST. The tax invoice is an official document. Once issued, all copies will be marked as duplicates, therefore, any business must be aware, and be in proper control of tax invoices being issued by their business. For this part of the topic, we may begin backwards. This is a sample of a tax invoice, and the following are details required on a tax invoice. Supplier information including the GST registration number. Full customer information for reference including address. A serialized invoice number, together with the date in the tax invoice header, clearly shown on the document. For supplies, there needs to be the appropriate description of the supply, the quantity, the unit price and the discounts if any. Thereafter, the total amount must be shown excluding GST, the GST amount and then the total. There should be an indication of the tax code or rate of tax as well. At the end of the invoice, there should be a GST summary on all GST charged, the gross amount as well as the tax amounts. Now that you have understood what a tax invoice would look like, we will show how easy it is to administrate a proper tax invoice in our products. Via the GST wizard, you had already provided and updated all the relevant information for supplier information, which is your business. Via the GST wizard as well, you would have reviewed and ensured the proper information is created for each customer. After both are done, creating an invoice is simple. Create a new invoice. In Sage products you may have different sets of invoice numbers for different businesses if you so choose to. Notice the important serialized invoice number and also the invoice date. Select the customer. Note that all the necessary information is already filled. Next, select the product or supply, the quantity and the price. Apply any discounts if applicable and then review the GST code applied. If your system has been set up via the GST wizard, the GST code will automatically be populated for the conditions of this sales and you will notice that the amounts are all calculated automatically. Once complete, Save the invoice. You may print the invoice once you are clear that it is the final tax invoice. Here we will print a final tax invoice, and we review the format available. It contains all the required parameters of a tax invoice and there it is. As GST is transactional, and depends highly on proper documentation, you are required to make adjustments via proper credit and debit notes. In Sage products this is very simple, as you can make a direct reference to an existing invoice. Please remember that there is an additional requirement, which is to specify a reason for the adjustment. You may select this via the reason code. Sage has pre-populated this code, however as the user, you may add more reasons to this to facilitate your own industry. Once ready, you can save the credit note and print it. Note on the printout, there is reference to the original invoice, invoice date and reason. The invoice format conforms to the standard requirements from JKDM as well. There you have it the tax invoice and an example of an adjustment with a credit note. Simple and straightforward. Thank you, and have a nice day.